All right, guys, welcome back to the LGS channel. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day so far. This is going to be one of my favorite episodes I've ever recorded on this channel. I know that's not much because I've only made about seven videos or so, but this one's a really good one. I know I say that every time, but this is probably, like I said, my favorite one. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys know it helps out a ton. We already smashed 1,000 subscribers on this channel. I was not expecting that this soon. So you guys have been showing this channel a lot of support. Thank you so much for doing so. I've had a great time making them, and I'm going to continue to do so. You guys have really been calling me out for my setup. Why am I holding my mic? Why does the lighting look weird? Why is there a messy bed behind me? This is not my setup. It's not even my house. I'm just currently traveling on, uh, on the road right now with my in-laws because of the holidays. And I will be back on Sunday morning's video. Should be back to normal. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is actually a little interesting clip I wanted to show you guys. You guys can see it in the background of the screen right now. Knocked actually clutching up for Optic Gaming. Looks like this was an oversight tournament that they were playing. And not only was this a clutch, because Optic Gaming has really needed this clutch. I mean, not obviously that this clutch saves everything, but they've needed something, some kind of pizzazz in their game. They did not qualify for the LAN event. They've been really struggling with the Pro League. They have not really looked good since year two ALGS championships. They came into that tournament as like a top two team. They were winning so many games, even in, I think, the group play matches. They looked so strong, just so dominant, and then they just kind of fell off, and they have not looked like themselves since all of these changes have gone on. It kind of makes you wonder, was it team composition you know what they were crutching on was the valk meta what they were crutching on i'm not sure obviously they're not using that meta anymore but regardless optic has really needed a turnaround because they've just kind of been lackluster as well and we know what this team is capable of well last night they were playing in this oversight tournament this was coming out from hyperlux as you guys can see in the background right here as hal's charge rifle finds the knock this time and skittle cakes goes down beginning the end of optic as they lose dupe as well it's got to be knocked that clutches this up he finds the first knock on to Hal, lays down some good damage on the low ground, oh. but it's Reps and Verholsh that are left alive that could still take this back. Reps is down, and it's just a 1v1. Our two Valkyries, Verholst and Nox oh. going up against each other. Verholst goes down. Reps comes up behind him, but doesn't find the kill. Optic clutch this up just in the nick of time. Not only was this a clutch, it was a clutch against TSM. The top team right now in North America actually finished in first right now for the North America Pro League in order to go to the London land. So Optic, hopefully we can see them turn this thing around. I know they're a big fan base. They have a lot of people rooting for them. Noct is a good friend of mine, and I know... He's got a lot of vengeance on his mind when it comes to the whole Cloud9 scene back in the day. And you love to see him be successful. What a great play. And hopefully Optic Gaming can find their way back into the main team. So this is actually another thing. Probably the biggest juice of the topic today that I wanted to mention. Mande actually, or Mandy, I can't remember how they pronounce his name. I think it's Mandy because I made a video one time and you guys critiqued me for it. But regardless, this guy and G Dolphin right here with a massive announcement. This was coming from them saying me and G Dolphin will probably host. I hope. He, I wish he wouldn't say probably. I want to see this happen. An Apex Legends World Cup in the start of 2023. Tourney will be probably three days long with a rule set that I haven't come up with yet, but I will write as soon as possible. We're looking for a sponsor. Please reach out to G Dolphin or me in the DMs. Probably 50 plus K viewers in total. That would be insane if they're actually to rack in that many viewers. And I think the title Apex Legends World Cup is going to be absolutely massive for them. Really hoping they can get a sponsor in this because one thing that I forgot, I wasn't even thinking about this when I read this comment, when I read this post, is that Fallout actually said I would love to be able to, you know, cast this as well. And then I realized, you know, he does have, I think his Greek, like I think it's a Greece flag that he has in his uh, banner. And then I also saw Rogue with a Canadian flag here saying, you know, is there going to be a Canadian squad? Then I realized, you know, I don't know why this did not dawn on me, but the World Cup is not going to be Optic Gaming, TSM. It's going to be Canada, USA. It's going to be a battle of the countries. And I think this is going going to be a massive massive opportunity and growth because we know apex has a really diverse you know composition when it comes to the uh, type of players that play this it is a very well-known game worldwide unlike some of the other games and esports that are out there so this would be incredible to see hopefully even apex legends would pick up on this because you guys know world cup is actually a thing i think in fortnite they did it back in 2019 with a 30 million dollar prize pool it was insane to see i think they had like over 1 million concurrent viewers at one time so probably the biggest possibly the biggest esport uh, event to ever happen i'm not sure if that is the case but it definitely is possible so apex legends is crazy to not dive into that uh market there as well however it is a little bit different when you look at fortnite i don't really think they have an established esports scene that is current and active and growing it's just kind of like this more casual way of doing it and they do the world cups every couple of years or every few years i think the next one 
one is this year in 2023. I have no idea where it's going to be at. Apparently, it's called the Infinity Arena. So, you know, it is cool to see that they do that. And I think it possibly is a different route that they wanted to take, maybe a piece of the casual player base so they don't have to worry about the headache with the whole esports scene. And then obviously just come back to do all of this every now and then for the World Cup. But like I said, Apex Legends, is with as big of an audience as it has, it would be amazing to see. Now, lastly, I wanted to mention here just a couple of roster mania, not roster mania, but changes that could be happening. Stunny, you guys might know Stunny over on, on Team Furia. He's a content creator. You know, he is actually looking for a team in the ALGS tournaments, including the Challenger Circuit, along with Cursed as well. So we could see, obviously, some, uh, you know, Twitch partners, some people that are not really competitors as far as the ALGS scene goes or, or former pros. Maybe they're just people that really love the game. They love streaming the game. They're very good at the game. Why not give it a try? Obviously, people are going to be rooting for them. And how many more people out there will continue to follow that path as well? We saw people in the past like Matchin, who was a content creator. Everyone doubted him. Then obviously, he came back into this scene as a pro player for Glitch Gaming. It did really well. Unfortunately, decided to retire not long after that. But it is good to see these guys take this route and I think expand the Apex Legends esports. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below. Like the video if you guys did enjoy it. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. And until next time, I'll see you later, Gators.